Chapter 22 Farid and Amir go to a big house and Amir gets let in. Farid wants to go but can't and Amir thanks him for all he's done. As Amir sits there in the room on the second story, he starts getting really nervous. The guy with the sunglasses walks in. He has his guards rip off Amir's fake beard. The Talib asks Amir why he didn't stay in Afghanistan to fight, that he could be shot for treason. He then talks about how he was at Mazari Sharif during the massacre of Hazaraz and how much he liked it. Amir thinks of Saraya to calm down. Then the Talib has his guards bring in Sorab. Sorab looks just like his father, Hassan. However, Sorab is dressed in makeup and has bells around his ankles. They then start to make him dance. Amir offers to pay for Sorab, but it turns out the Talib is very rich. At that point, the Talib lets it known that he knows it's Amir. The Talib is actually a Seth. A Seth says he never forgets a face. He then goes on to tell Amir that when he was tortured in prison, he realized God wanted him to be alive for a reason, that God was on his side. Asef says he will let Amir save Sarab for a price. He wants to fight Amir to the death. He tells the guards, no matter what, not to disturb them, and they go outside. Amir can't remember much of the fight, but Asef and his brass knuckles break several of his ribs, his jaw, his nose, many of his teeth, and is at the point of beating Amir to a pulp when Sarab tells him to stop. He pulled out a slingshot and aims it at Asef. As Asef lunges at Sorab, he shoots right at Asef's eye, with the ball getting stuck in the socket. They both quickly leave the house to Farid waiting in the car, and Amir passes out.